So this guy, turns out he had 70 lifetimes. And he had 70-something lifetimes on the earth. He... lived on 50 different, co different countries. He, he had 50 different countries he lived in throughout the ages, way back when. And, uh... <laughs> the first dream I'm in, we're fighting some people. Me and, me and him. They were killing baby ducks. And I, I hate that shit. And they are eating them. They are cooking them up and eating them. And, uh... We ran over to them. These guys were from some weird ass country. And uh, they were killing the baby ducks and eating them. And I'm like, this is a dream I had. And we said, you know, this is Canada, man. You can't. That's why I said, this is Canada. Don't do that. It's wrong. And, <laughs> and this guy comes running over beside me. And he's like, he goes, I'm sick of this bullshit. God damn, people can't figure anything out. He's yelling. He's yelling worse than I am at these two guys in this dream. And uh, so anyway, they quit. We stopped it. And they're on the sidewalk killing baby ducks. And I couldn't believe it. Anyway, we start walking away. They're done killing the baby ducks. We took all the ducks away. He says, no, you ain't doing it. End of story. He goes, you just want easy fucking food. We both know it. They just wanted easy food. Why go after an adult duck when you can just run over and... What's the baby duck do? It attaches itself to you instantly. And they kill it. Chop the fucking head off. Gut it and eat it. Like a fucking, fucking cupcake. Okay? It's an easy kill. They don't even have to try. They're losers. They don't respect life. They don't respect life. And that's what they're doing. And me and this guy, in the dream, we ran over there and stopped it. Said, you're full of shit. You're a fucking loser. You're both fucking losers. Stop fucking killing the ducks and we're going to knock your fucking teeth out. That's what he's saying. I didn't even know who this guy was in the dream. And then, we're walking away. He goes, God damn, I hate this world. He goes, this. He goes, I never fucking agree with this place. I can't stand it. And he goes, I go, I got to know, dude, I know. And he looked at me, and uh, he's dressed up like a Muslim guy. He goes, I can't stand this shit. And then he looked at me, and uh, he had a dark beard, dark eyebrows, and he had uh, uh, monk monk clothes on. He looks at me, he goes, yeah, I can't stand his dad here, I can't stand him. And I go... And I go, yeah, but we got him. We fucking got him. We stopped him. And he goes, yeah, feels good, doesn't it? And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, you have no fucking idea. Then he raised his hand for a high five, and we went, bang! We slapped the high five, man. And he's like, yeah, that was great. And then I woke up, and he's going, he goes, did you see me? Did you see me in the dream? I'm the guy with the big dark eyebrows. He goes, I can make any face I want, but that was one of my past lives. I go, well, that was you in the dream. And I'm like, he's like, yeah. And he goes, you just met me. And I'm like, holy shit. And he goes, and he goes, I, he goes, basically, he's going, I'm going to teach you to go in other people's dreams and, and teach you how I do it. And then and higher consciousness stuff. Not how to tie your shoes and reproduction of the penis or whatever the fuck the other Christ was telling me. Low level stuff. He's like, I'm going to teach you how to interact with me and other beings in dream space. And dream space and you could do this with the ETs he goes and I go what about Mars and stuff and he goes I've seen Mars he goes he goes I've never been there I've never been to the moon but I've had I've seen other people's experiences and I'll show them to you and I'm like holy shit so we went on to that and then we went at one point we went on to X-Files and I Christ X-Files where Christ couldn't solve the mystery or the person's experience so a person will have an experience on the earth Christ, if you're a Christian, Christ will get the experience. And at that time, in the moment, Christ will either help you. Or, if you're not with Christ, then you ain't getting shit. But, the experience happened. Christ tries to find an answer for it. In all dimensions, and all things, and all beings. Well, there's some things that Christ just couldn't figure out. And I think there's like, there's like 12,000, 20,000, 12,000 of people's experiences 
since Christ has been was created, since Christ was born, Christianity has been twenty thousand experiences, or two, not two anyway, that he has no answers for. Extraterrestrial, demon shit, dimensional stuff, stuff that just makes no. He has no answer for, it. and he knows almost goddamn it. everything there is to need, everything there is to need to know. So I go. I had the opportunity with one of the Christs I was working with a few years ago, who showed me two experiences of unknown Christ, like that were unknown experiences people had that were unknown to Christ. And he called. And he goes, "Yeah, the X Files." And he goes. He goes, they're not already called X-Files, but they're unknown to Christ. And I go, yeah. And he goes, yeah, they're all left in the room. He goes, we can go there. I'll show you everything. He, he goes, there's nothing on the earth you can't know. He goes, you talk to the inner light. You talk to your inner light, and it works with you. You're in tune with the inner light, the source. Your inner light is the source where I live. And I go, okay. And he goes, you're at the top. There's nothing you can't know. I'm going to tell you everything. But you can't tell nothing to the people in St. Lucian. That's your fucking problem. He goes, don't even bother because they ain't even going to listen to you. So, people, it's spiritual people that are watching this, walk into Walmart and go, the aliens are here. The aliens could be standing right beside you in spirit form. And you see them. And you tell the people in Walmart, hey, <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> They're going to put you in a psycho ward and you're going to be on pharmaceuticals for the rest of your life. That's what he's saying to me in the spirit world. Okay? But, since I live in St. Lucian, which is basically a few steps up from Earth, I'm not allowed to talk about the higher shit that we all know about, that I knew about all my life, physical and spiritual, with the ETs. I'm not allowed to talk about it either. You can, but you might fucking regret it. <clears throat> he goes, your best interest is not to say a goddamn thing to anybody in St. Lucian about what we do. And I go, got it. And the only reason I'm in St. Lucian is because it's awesome. And it's more like Earth, but better. And I'm in my body. If I wasn't in my body, I'd be up there living in the light. I haven't. So, the second day I meet this guy, he talks. Well, I've been on Mars. He goes, he, when I was told him, just go back one. I was talking to the lady, and she had the computer thing, and she was asking me questions, and she goes, she goes, you've been to Mars, and I went, yeah, she goes, how did you get there, I go, I projected my consciousness, and I met a, another person there, a spirit entity, she goes, they chase you back, and I go, that's what your part says, right, and she goes, yeah, she goes, she goes, she goes, oh, by the way, did you see the war there, did you see the war on the ground, and I'm like, I go, yeah, I saw the war, and she goes, on the ground? Did you see the war on the ground? I go, no, no. I was in space. I saw the, I saw the ships blowing up the planet. I told her, I go, I saw the ships blowing up Mars, but I didn't see the war on the ground. I saw the explosions from orbit, and I saw the missiles coming from the planet blowing up the ships. And she goes, okay, that's all I want to know. And I go, why? And she goes, like she was still testing me, right? Or doing her thing so she wouldn't answer me I'm like, well, fuck. I talked to this guy later this guy's like yeah I know it all but fuck I don't we'll go for a coffee sometime and I'll tell you all about it I'll show you in your dreams I'll show you in your dreams I'm like holy fuck Are you kidding? here I am from learning about what the penis does and how to get it hard to fucking the war on Mars That's not, that happened fucking 100,000 years before Christ even was considered as a being here I am, past civilized. I go, Atlantis. 
I go, I had three past lives in Atlanta. He goes, oh yeah, fuck me, man, there, da, 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 da. yeah, I'm a common law king. He goes, yeah, we can do it. I go, extraterrestrials, dimensions. I go, oh, shit, I got shit I want answers for. He goes, yeah, give me to We know everything, fuck it. I'm like, holy fuck, and he gives us a drink. So, we got to talking about the X-Files. About Christ's X-Files. And uh, he goes, yeah, I can give them to you. So he goes, he goes, just go to the door. Imagine the door. He goes, just imagine the door where you went to. And I'll open it up. And I go, okay. And he goes, here we are. I'm like, holy shit. So I'm talking to him in the spirit. And he goes, here we are. And he goes, these are the, these are the files. And he goes, there's drawers. And he opens one up and he goes, did you see this? He goes, this is the first set. And he takes the lid off it. And there's little cookies. Little round discs. Little round discs. And he goes, what you do is... You take this, and you take a piece off it, and just, you either just hold on to it, and he goes, but he goes, you put it in the back of your, back of your, where your brain stem is, I go, yeah, just a little piece, and you put it in your brain stem, so I took a piece off, and all of a sudden I'm in a dream, I didn't even put it anywhere, I just cracked it off, and I'm in the dream, and I'm going to make the next video about this, but this is what happened, this, and I go, this looks like one of them things they put on your tongue. And he goes, he goes, yeah, basically, it's a little different. But and he goes, what you do is you just take the disc and you put it in the back of your brain. Have the, have the experience of what the, because what this is, is the person's experience. This is the person's experience, the truth of their experience. Well, Christ has no answer for what's in these things. And you're about to see him. And I go, Doug. I've been bitching for three fucking years about it, and I want to see more. And he goes, you will. He goes, whenever you want. Here they are. <laughs> I'm like, holy fuck. So, there we go. And you just take it. It's like a little tiny cracker, about this big. And it's round, and it's thin. And he goes, you just stick it back here, watch it, and when you're done, take it out and put it back. And I'm like... He didn't even care. He thought it was stupid. I'm like, dude, you have no fucking idea what this means to me. You don't have no idea. My God, I went through hell to get to this point. Oh, my God. I go, dude, I just spent fucking three years learning about low-level bullshit, okay? He goes, he goes, dude, I've been there. I know. He goes, I know. He goes, I've been there. And you're still there. You're, he goes, you're on the earth. And he's there laughing. I'm like, oh, fuck you. Don't even know. So, again, I fell asleep last night. Last night I had more dreams about stuff. Nothing really exciting. Mostly meeting him. And he gave me a couple of little tests of stuff. It was a good test, too. Not stupid shit. And, um... <laughs> So, I forgot what I was going to say. I had, I had one more experience. It wasn't that great, but it's a dream about the X-Files. It was one of them, the first one I've had in years. It was nothing scary, but it was interesting, nonetheless. And I'll tell you about it in the next video. So, this guy is blowing me away. Oh, I woke up this morning. I'm with him at his computer desk. No, I woke up. We were driving down a country road or a suburb or something. And uh, we're driving. And he goes, and uh, we're driving an old pickup truck, me and this guy, in the dream. And uh, he does some crazy shit. We're driving. He did some crazy shit. And he goes... He goes, it's fun to he goes, it's fun to fuck with people now and then. He goes, all the people that fuck with you, it's good to get them back, isn't it? And I go, fucking right here, this. And he goes, yep. And he goes, I know. And all of a sudden, he goes, I don't know what I was doing. He, I go, I said to him, I go, dude, I go, if we, if I do that, other people will see me. And he goes, fuck what the other people think. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> and then next thing I know, I'm on the hood of the 
truck and I'm looking at him. He's like, ah. he goes, this is fucking fun. This way. I'm like, yeah, this is a lot better than fucking oh, stupid shit. And he goes, you know, he goes, in this world, you can do whatever you want. And he goes, this world is just as real as the earth. And I'm talking to him on top of the truck, doing like 100 miles an hour down in the city. Police are chasing us, everything. He goes, he goes, in this world, he goes, it's just as real. But guess what? We don't get in trouble. And I go, why? And he goes, well, I basically, I control everything I've been through. He goes, I control it all. He goes, I don't control it, but I don't get blamed for shit. I, I go, why? And he goes, because I'm the source. And he goes, I'm the source, just like you are, but you're learning still. And he goes, that's why I'm going to teach you. And I went, holy fuck. I was like, at, and he goes, you're at the fucking top. You're at the top. The top fucking 33 bullshit thing. But that's how they have it organized in Christ, Christ consciousness. And I'm like, wow, dude, you have no idea. You have no idea. And he goes, you can't. He goes, you can't kill people, but you can fuck with them and have fun. You can't kill them, but when you fuck with them, when you fuck with people and have fun, you don't hurt them, but you make them think. You make them think. And I'm like, I'm all about that. Anyway. Then I fell asleep again after that. I woke up again, and I'm at his desk, computer desk, and he's on the computer. And he's playing a video game. He's got music going. He's got these lights flashing. He's interconnected to other people on the computer. And they're all talking to him. And I'm like, dude, this your computer? He goes, yeah, what do you think? You know? I go, how much? And he goes, he goes, oh, I forgot. It was oh, 1600 bucks or something. He goes, for you, 1600 bucks. For me, for free. I can get what I want whenever I want it and whenever I need it. And I'm like, oh, he fucking... <laughs> I go, good, give me five. <laughs> give me five of these computers. And so I, I woke up. I'm waking up. And I go, hey, do you get Fallout 3 and Fallout 4? And he goes, I can get anything you want. If it's, on, if it's on your internet, if it's being created by humans, if it's created by humans, if it's sung, if it's an experience a humans had or a human created... I get it. And I'm like, holy shit. And he goes, everything. He goes, dude, I get everything. Everything on my computer. Everything. He goes, once you're with the source, the source knows everything. The source creates everything. So, your humans create and the source receives it to experience it through the humans. It's the creator of fucking Spark of Life. Dude, you talk to the Spark of Life and it works for you. What else do you want? And he goes, once you're here, you get it. And it's just a fucking playground. You get you don't even have to be born again. You just do whatever you want. And he goes, you can still, you still have to go a lot higher. He goes, there's levels above me. And he goes, he goes, that creates the multiverse. Multiverses, multi-dimensional dimensions. All lives, all cultures, all extraterrestrial races. Forever. And I ain't even halfway there yet. This, we just, me and you, he goes, we just overcame Earth. We're just starting out, Earth. We're just starting. When you can create your own dimension and universe, then we're, then you're, you don't even care about Earth anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, shut up and give me the fucking computer. I go, I want one for when I die. I don't want to be left alone, <laughs> left out, man. Everything, he goes, like, he goes, Basically, everything you want to do on the earth, you can't do because you ain't got enough money, right? And I go, yeah. And I go, he goes, I know, I know your story. And he goes, and he goes, it's driving you fucking nuts. And he goes, yeah. I, I, he goes, you know you can have it here, but you got to do a little bit of work for it. I go, yeah. And he goes, and he goes, that's what you're doing with the illusion room and your money and you're finding the bones and everything. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, he goes, you got it. He goes, you know what you're doing. 
And I go, how did, he goes, how did you uh, know you could do that? I go, I didn't. I go, I just asked. I go, I asked him, like, and he goes, oh, there you go. You asked him, like, for a shitload of money, and she'll bring it to you. But when I asked the other night for a shitload of money for the spirit world, I got it, but I had to go out and get it, which was in the form of bones from the Pleistocene, Eocene, stuff like that. And I sent them to the university, and they gave me millions for for hundred eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a dire wolf bones. And so I've been doing that. I got in my bank account for me and my family twenty two million dollars. And I ain't started. I ain't fucking know where a million bones are. I'm like, dude, you ain't got enough money for me, man. Then, at the same time, my buddy, my buddy, I call him Bone Christ, because he goes out with the archaeologist, gets the bones, gets the money, does all the work. I get the big cut, because I found it, because I can see. No one else in St. Lucian can see. Not really, like I can. So I go out, I look down in the earth, and I can see the bones. So I tell Christ, he gets the archaeologist, so they go down there and confirm it. Every animal I find that's whole, 850 grand. Then I find trees, trees, ancient trees in the same sediment deposit, sediment deposit. I found old trees, old growth trees that are 48,000 years old and older. He takes them. Turns them in guitars. So I find a guitar I like on the internet, put it on Facebook. He goes on Facebook, goes, Yeah, I can make that. He sees Facebook. So, he goes, uh, so I'm going to talk to the NLA guy and say, uh, Can you like give a fucking douchebag that owns Facebook a heart attack or something? Give him a really good toothache. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, I want to learn that. Where. What I'm allowed to do and what I'm not, I don't really want to know. I won't do it until I know. But if I'm allowed to do it, then I'm going to do it. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So, what happens is, I like guitars, bass guitars. So I go find a, a old, let's say, I found a black walnut tree. 48,000-year-old black walnut tree in a clay deposit in southern Ontario. Christ comes, takes it out, takes it back to his illusion room, and carves tables out of it, and guitars. It makes a guitar for me. I don't even get the guitars because they're worth twenty fucking $80,000. That guitar is mine. He... He's got a collection of guitars made out of ancient wood that's going on tour with the animals that they got. And it tours through Christianity different places. And my guitars are going on tour with the university of what they made out of this wood. So we got a 48,000 year old wood guitar, bass guitar. Like four of them. One is, they're all, one is, uh, my cousin Dan told me about, uh, um, what's this fucking thing called? Oh, Rickenbacker. I don't know, Gibson Rickenbacker, I think it's called. So I looked it up on the internet, said, yeah, that's nice. He made it out of 48,000 year old black oak tree. And it's in St. Lucian. Christ has it. In a controlled room in his house. Oh, and I got, I learned some more stuff about poop in St. Lucian, in the spirit world. Poop. Alright, that's another video. But, oh, I'll tell you, I got four minutes here. Poop. My wife came to me and said, not my wife, my wife and kids, she goes, This place is starting to stink. We need a, a recycler. And I go, What do you mean a recycler? She goes, A poop recycler. 
I mean, what are you talking about, poop recycler? So we had a big discussion about it. Sure. Turns out, you can rent them, or you can buy them. I go, how much is it to buy one? She goes, $300,000. I'm like, what? She goes, $300,000 for a poop recycler. And it takes the stink away. Because I guess over time, all the poop in your septic tank starts to stink. Starts to back up into the house. Then you got to call the city. They come and drain it and take it away. This is insane illusion in the spirit world, okay? She's asking me, since I got 22 fucking million dollars, to, I don't control it, but she needs my, my say so. She goes, we, we, we need it. And I'm like, she goes, it's a luxury item. Most, she goes, almost everybody in St. Lucian rents them. But you got the money to buy one. We don't have to worry about the bills and shit. You just buy it. And then you can resell it later when we move, if we wanted to. I'm like, okay, you can buy it. I don't give a fuck. I got 22 million. That's 330,000. Big deal. She goes, okay, thank you. And I'm like, oh, wow. So, in the spirit world in St. Lucian, when you die and they stick your ass in St. Lucian, yep. Poop recycler. I go, what do they recycle? Hamburgers out of it? She goes, no. <laughs> I'm like, she goes, pharmaceuticals. I'm like, hey, yep, Michael, that's about right. That's what they're doing here. You poop pharmaceuticals. Poop pharmaceuticals, they make medicine out of it. So they take, so when you eat a burritos, when you eat 15 burritos and half a case of beer in St. Lucia, you're going poop. She goes, she goes, you don't have to poop. You don't have to eat. She goes, you don't have to eat. You don't have to work. You don't have to do nothing. You're all taken care of. You get a place to live. But it's basics. You get the basic necessities of life. You want more, you got to work your ass out for it or do something for it. And she goes, that's how, that's how it's done here. She goes, there's no poverty here. People on the street, living on the streets, they choose to live there for a reason. There's no poverty here. And I'm like, holy shit. It's like, it's like 75 cents for a pack of fucking cigarettes there. Unbelievable. Poop recyclers. Poop recyclers. Let me... And you don't get money for the product either after it's recycled. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm learning this. I'm giving it to you. Oh, there's another one. It's called uh, something to do with the faces. A mask machine. It's called a mask machine. That What a mask machine is, you buy this machine and you you when you look good... When you wake up in the morning and you look good, like 100%, and you want that, you stick your face in this machine, it molds perfectly your face. Then, you take the mold and you put it on for a while, and it holds your face in that shape. Because in the spirit world, you morph out with emotions and everything. You morph. Stuff like that. But this machine helps you hold that. So if you're going out drinking or to a bar, or a party. You put on this mask an hour before, and it holds your face for that. And that's just a cosmetic item, like doing your hair, or some, you know, like the hair dryer that they put on, and you make your hair look nice. Well, you put this mask on, it makes your face look nice the way you want it. Same type of thing. That's another product and solution they don't have here. Mm -hmm. More or less. Anyway, I'm done here, guys.